Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your boy Zo Bad Blood Collectibles. And today on the channel we are going to be reviewing, yes, Mesco 112 exclusive. This is a highly a uh, sought out figure that I always wanted in my collection since the day I lay eyes on him. And that is your boy, Doc Nocturnal Mezco exclusive. As you can see, we do have the box right here as well. Look at that exclusive right there. And I got this from my guys at Ageless Geeks. You can hit them up on Instagram and also at Frankensons. Oh, yeah. So, right now, we're going to talk about this dude. We're going to go over the articulation, and then we're going to go over the accessories, and then we're going to dress this dude together and see what this dude is all about and see if the hype is real. Now, seeing the photos and seeing the other figure that came out in the past, that figure was skinny, seemed like he was on a Robin body. This one right here, he's a beefier guy. And I do have to say, he looks freaking awesome from the photos and also the review that I've seen from The Amazing. But now, I'm so happy to have him myself because now I get to do my own review and present this guy to you guys to see if you really want this guy or not. So let's go ahead and take an overall look of him at him first. And then we're going to hit this light right here, even though I have more light. But I do want to show off the details and the face sculpt. Now, this is his original head sculpt. So, he's probably like a Frankenstein character, kind of. But there he is right there. His face is all messed up there. And then you can see his ears. And I just love the details that they did with uh, Dot Nocturnal. That is freaking awesome. We also have a skull in the middle, which I did that for a reason. When I get there, I'll tell you about that. And then the suit itself is really, really nice. And I love for the fact that we get this uh, clothing soft good right here where you don't have to worry about it ripping or tearing or anything like that. So I'm so glad for that. Be careful of hangnails though. And then um, we turn it on the back. He got all this stuff going on where you can add all of his accessories on there as well. And he just looks dope. I mean, he looks freaking awesome. Also, we do have his soft good uh, hood right here that you put over him, which is dope. And then look at the back of the head scope. I really do love that a whole lot. I love it. So overall, oh, let's look, take a look at the, the watch as well. Keep him, look at this, you guys. This thing actually opens up. You don't have to worry about it falling off as well as it's uh, a part of the wrist. So I really do like that as well as far as... The watch being on the uh, wrist gauntlet. I love that. And it's dope because you can open it and you can close it. And it's good for photography. This is a figure that's really great for photography for all of us that uh, do toy photography. It's going to be freaking awesome when you actually have this figure in here. And then on the other side, we do get the same thing with the boots as well with the gauntlets. And man, this figure just looks dope, man. I'm so excited to have this dude in my collection, you guys. Uh, man, when Gio hit me up, I hit him up. Something told me to just call him, and I I shot him a text, and he's like, "Oh yeah, we have one. We have one left." I was like, um, "Put it on hold. Your boy's coming down to come get it." I, I was like, "I'll be there first day early in the morning at Frank and Sons. I uh, have it ready." Went down there, chat up with uh, Joe and John that was down there, and I stayed down there for like a couple hours, like an hour and a half, maybe two. And talk to him because I recently broke my leg, but that's a different story. I'll explain that on another uh, another day. But anyways, this dude is freaking awesome. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and go over the articulation on this thing. And then we'll move on from there with the accessories because there's a lot to go over with the accessories. So first thing first, this dude can look up really good as you can see here. And he also had that neck rotation in there as well, which is done really nice, as you can see here. And then also, he I don't think he has butterfly joints, but still, we get great articulation here as well. And then we also get swivel at the biceps with double jointed elbows as well. Freaking awesome, right? And then, of course, you can go all the way around with the stool. Look how high you can get. So uh, you have great articulation there, right? And then, uh, with this, he could go this far back. Look at that. Ba-dow! So, this is freaking awesome. And then, 
Also with the legs, you could get those double jointed knees right there where he's actually touching his back as he's doing a backflip, which is freaking awesome as well. So we have great articulation in the torso going backwards and then forwards. I'm sorry, you guys. <coughs> Forward, we have this much, but with the legs and stuff going out, he has great ab crunch as well. So it's not a problem as far as articulating the figure and look at that you don't have to worry about ripping nothing so that is freaking awesome and then as well this dude could go sideways this dude could go this way also you could turn about that much there and then also could turn about that much there so great articulation there as you can see with the legs he could go about this far out also go this far forward which is 90 degrees here and then also he go all the way back like that so that is freaking awesome articulation for the ankles are great as well as you can see here and then uh i don't know if we get swivel at the boots it doesn't seem like it but we do get swivel here at the ankle so that is dope and also we get swivel at the thigh so overall articulation this dude's definitely getting a 10 out of 10 for articulation for a beefy beefier body this dude is freaking awesome okay and yes i'm going to be saying freaking awesome a lot on this video only because this dude is so dope and i've been waiting for this figure for a long time so overall look i'm definitely going to give him a 10 so far when we put everything else on i'll rate the overall look on that as well and now it's time to go over the accessories all right you guys so here we are with dot nocturnal uh dot nocturnal uh box right here uh, this is what he came with and I love the box art and the inside of it as well as you can see here We do get that beautiful art and is very very nice very detailed And then here we get the straps that goes over his body also another strap to hold the Tommy gun on the side of his waist and then we get two uh, Gun holsters as well here. We get the Tommy gun which I accidentally broke the back of it by accident trying to fold it also, we get this big gun, one of his specialties that I really love about the figure. Also, three blast effects. His goggles, which I will show these off. I'm just showing you the main thing, just in case if I skip anything. And then also, we do have the three uh, different masks right there. So, he has two skeleton masks in that one. We go over that as well. And then we have his two guns as well with the ammunition. We have 14 exchangeable hands, seven on each side. And then also we have that beautiful stand that you see that the figure is actually standing on of Dot Nocturnal, which is freaking awesome. And then, like I said, we do get this piece here with all these little gadgets. Plus, this is the one that extends. You have one that extends, and then you have this one when it's not extended. We also have a blast effect, an extra uh, ammunition right here with uh, all these little things that's going on here. We do have the our grenade, the grenades or whatever. And then also... We do have this little red piece right here that actually goes on the figure. So we're going to go over that right now. Just showing you so I don't have to go over the little pieces. Alright you guys. So here we are with the uh, stand right here. It looks really nice. Really clean as well. Don't have to worry about scratching it. So I really do love that. Definitely going to have this on the shelf. Uh, display for Dot Nocturnal. So dope. And now uh, last but not least, he does come with his beautiful cape, and we'll go over that as we dress the figure. But right now, I do want to go over the hands first, so let's go ahead and get that out the way, and then uh, we'll move on. But as you can see here, we do have his closed fist here, which is dope as well. Alright you guys, here we are with his other hands right here. These are another pair with two open hands. They are not the same, so I really do love that, and Mexico's known for that. So let's go over the rest of them. Alright, here he is again with his karate chopping hands. Here he is with his shooting hands, as you can see here. We got those, which we'll show off the gun in a little bit. Here are some more shooting hands, as you can see. We got uh, two pairs of shooting hands, which is freaking awesome. All right, you guys, here he is with his uh, holding hands right here. These are to hold the grenades and all kind of stuff, his weapons and all that as well, which is dope. Here he is with some more holding hands. This is probably when he's getting in his car, which is coming out soon. We could use these to hold the steering wheel and for other pieces as well. So that's dope. All right, you guys, last but not least, we do have these hands right here. They're open hands 
as well, which is freaking awesome. And man, this dude has a lot of hands. So let's go ahead and pop out these and then put back on his closed fist as we go over everything else that this dude comes with. And the next thing I do want to go over is his weapon. So let's go ahead and go over that next. Well, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put these bad boy fists back on him. If I could find the freaking other one. What the heck? Did I already put it on? Oh, I already got it on. Didn't even know that. All right, so here we are with this dude standing up here. I dare remove the stand out the way, so I don't have to be bothered with that. But now that we have the figure here, let's go ahead and go over the rest of his accessories. Now, after we already showed off a lot of them, here's his gun in person. This is upside down. Now, this is the way he's going to have it right here. As you can see, his arm's going to go through here. And then we also have the effect where you could put it right there and then i love this right here this is so dope i really do love that that is freaking awesome and then look at the detail on that thing is really really nice i really do love that a lot i love the hoses as well just just so awesome so dope right and then also we do get the gun that actually fold now be careful with yours I accidentally broke mine as you can see here I actually broke this piece off as fold and I don't know what happened. Maybe it was just too hard and I, I should have warmed it up. But yeah, it broke as I was folding it. So you have to be careful with everything else. And then you just unfold this here just like that. Boom. And then this actually comes down. You could turn it and then boom, use it. And then when you're done with it, you're going to simply hang it up on the figure. You fold it back up like this. And I will show you that as we go into further details but that is dope there so we do get both of these i will actually put this on at the end so that way you get to see it and then look at the writing on here which i didn't even know until now but we do get writing x13 chemical i believe chemical something uh i'm trying to read it the best i can without moving and then it even has the serial number and model make and uh that is dope there so and the number. So that is freaking awesome. All these freaking details that he has in there. I love it. So that is dope there. We got those two out the way. Let's go and go over some more things. We do have his name. I uh, forgot what this is. But it does. Uh, this is the one where it stretches out. And you see these with a lot of their figures as well. You always see it. Even NECA has it sometimes. Where this is the holding right here. The handle. And then it, it actually extends out. So that's dope here. And then this is it when it's closed, so you don't have to worry about uh, like yanking it and pulling it. So I do love that a lot, right? So we have that as well. And then we also have the bullet, I mean, the special effects here. This one is for his rocket launcher. It looks like it's a rocket launcher, so I'm going to call it that for now, but I don't know. So don't kill me in the comments because it doesn't tell me what all these weapons are. But this is dope here. Look at that. Bam. That is freaking awesome. Can't wait to take photos with this dude. I literally took this dude out the box and started reviewing them so we can experience this together. And usually I don't really do this. Usually I take photos first, but I actually want to use this experience with everyone as well as myself and then another thing that i like we do get the grenades as i was talking about earlier with his symbol on there that is freaking awesome and then we also get these things here uh these are for the rocket launcher as well as he's putting them in there and then also we do get these guns now these guns are freaking awesome like this one here right we get this but you can actually like open this up here look at the details in it at first and you can actually open this up and actually put the ammunition in there, which is so dope. You can just put it in there like that, and then boom, close it up, and you have your dot nocturnal gun blaster right here, ray blaster, and then you also could put the splash effect in here as well. It goes in right like that, and then boom, you got your blast effect, which is freaking awesome, right? And then also we do have this one here, same thing. We do get blast effects. As you can see, we got the gun uh, gun pieces for that, which is dope. But also, you can lift this thing up like that. Boom. I didn't even know this, that you can actually do this. This is so dope here. You can actually put the ammunition in there. And boom. There you go right there with his gun. This one I love better than the other one. This one looks so dope. Uh, really creative by Mesco 112. Look at the details in that which is awesome. So with those two guns, we also get these two holsters right here that you pin on the side of 
this dude right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin these on, and as you can see here, uh, boom, we gonna lift this up, and then as you can see here, you can just put them on these straps right here, which I'm gonna do right now, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, everybody, so here we are with him with this gun holsters on the side of them, and the guns are inside, which is nice. You don't have to worry about it falling off. As you can see, you just hook it through those little hooks, and you got this sweet, freaking awesome look of Doc Nocturnal as we fully undress this dude. With this thing here, you're going to take this. You, got, you have an extra strap, and you have this here. Now, this piece is going to hang on. You're going to put this over here and hang it on the back of this one here and then also strap this piece this piece right here is going to go around the figure as you can see here and then we're going to put it on so that's what i'm going to do right now but i don't want to make the video so long so i'm going to do this off camera all right you guys so as you can see here i was able to get it on man it's a pain in the butt trying to get it in for the first time and i finally did it and boom, I did put that on the side as well. Now, what I'm going to do also is put this on him. But before I put this on, let's go ahead and put this on right here. This little piece that you saw earlier, we're going to connect it right here. It goes on just like that, which is freaking awesome. Probably like a, communica a, a communicator or something like that. I don't know. Like, I would actually have to go back and look on Instagram and try to figure out what all these things are. See if I can find a photo. Or use the photos that I already have from like some of my toy news. And then uh, learn what they are. Uh, what it, they are actually called. But yeah, that thing goes in right there. We're going to put on the cape. But I do want to take this piece off. Guys, be careful. I already broke the first one that was on there. It comes with two. I think there was a reason that it comes with two. But you easily could take this off here. And then when you put the cape on, you just take it, uh, you just punch it back in a hole, which we'll go over in a little bit with the cape. But I already broke the first one, and I'm praying that I don't break the second one. Okay, everyone. So I was able to get it on, and man, it's a pain in the butt to try to put these on. So, yeah, just to get them open. But I believe, like, once you get them in, you can take them off. Uh, it won't be as hard as the first time. But, man, I was struggling. But we were able to get this in. Now, one thing I do want to go over real quick with these straps is for the fact that you could take all these little accessories right here that you see with the grenade stuff. And you can actually put them through these straps. These, this is why the straps are here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera as well. And uh, we'll be right back. Alright, so here we are with Dot Not Tarnal. We do have both of the, uh, on both sides, we have the ammunition for his guns right here. We have two right here, and then also two right here for the big guns. And then also, you could turn this thing around, and you will see I did, I was able to put a rocket launcher on this one, ammunition for that, and then also uh, two grenades right here, which is dope, man. This is like next top tier, next level. Uh, figure right here. This thing is freaking awesome, and I'm so glad I waited for this one instead of getting the old one. I didn't even know they was gonna come out with this new one, and then all of a sudden, right when I was about to buy the the smaller version of him, and then next thing you know, breaking news at Comic Con San Diego, they bought out this dude, and I was happy, and I, I immediately pre-ordered it, but I actually got it from Frankenstein, so now I'm gonna cancel my pre-order. Now I don't need it no more. But I don't know. I might I might keep it. That way I can have to just in case of something else break on here. But yeah, there he is right there. We do have everything on him. We have all the sh all the gadgets, all the stuff on him, which is freaking awesome. So now let's go ahead and go over the rest of, of this dude here. Now keep in mind on the back of his head scope, we have this hole, right? And I didn't even know this. And uh as you can see this back here, I said, what is this for? Because this piece here. You can actually, it actually comes like this. This is how it comes. You can actually take this out and then actually put, I think you can take this out here and then put this on or, oh no, that's not for that. But you can take this out and I got to figure out why you can take this out. We'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know uh, what else goes in here, but I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. But I know that you can remove this and then uh, if you guys know, hear me up in the comment section below. Uh, if you already have this figure, if you were lucky to go to Comic-Con San Diego or 
uh, New York Comic Con, you're able to get this too. But anyways, it's time to go over the Haskell. Now, as you can see, we do have his face, right? But then we get this freaking awesome gas mask right here with the red uh, lens in there, which is freaking awesome. Look at the design on there. We get great design. All that weather look, all the washes in there. This is just dope. And you're not going to get this from nowhere else except from Mesco. The Mesco goes all out. And that's why I'm a huge fan of Mesco. So we definitely get this. You can take this thing, put it on him. Just put it right over his head. And it will just go right over. It's supposed to go right over. As you can see here. And then you just connect it in there. Uh... Let's see, boom, put it in there, and then there you go. You do have his gas his gas mask, which is pretty dope. Definitely going to be using that in my photos as well, so I'm so excited for that. It is actually 1230 at, in, the, in the morning, and I'm shooting this video, and I haven't took photos yet, so I might be up to 5 in the morning. And then here we are with the another uh, mask right here. This one is dope, too. I actually like this one a lot. And then we also get this one, so they both are different. Which one do you like? I'll let you guys decide as I decide myself. But for now, uh, I'm leaning more on this one here. But this one looks just as good. I don't know. It's going to be between these two. Uh, I just don't know because they both are so dope. But it goes right over the head as well. And um, yeah, you just put it right over it. And it's supposed to go on. But uh, I need to make sure that's how you put the stain on here. So, before I break something else, so I'm going to take this off of him, and then put this on him, and then, yeah. Oh, so it goes on there. I thought it, it would open up or something, but yeah, maybe it does, maybe it don't. I, oh, you know what? Oh, crap. So, that's what that's for. So, I made a huge mistake. This is what this back piece is for. So, the mask can actually go on the figure. And now you got the thing on. Okay, so you have to take that back piece off, and then you're able to get that look here. And now we got the nocturnal face. And then you can go ahead and then put this hood over him like this, which is dope here. I really do love this a lot. And uh, Mesco just do such a great job with their figures. But man, that's going to look dope. And I haven't even put the cape on him yet, but look at that. That is freaking awesome there. So now we got that going on here. It's time for the freaking cape. So we get that mask. And I'm going to put on the other one. Let me go ahead and take this off. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. Here's the other mask right there. I wanted to show that off real quick. Yeah, they just come right back on. And you just pull them right back out. And uh, I like the other one way better than this one. So I'm going to stick with the original one. Which is freaking awesome. And then I'm going to put the goggles on that. And then we'll go over the cape. Okay, everybody, so now that we got this dude on, I d was able to put that piece that's in his head. I don't, still don't know what goes, uh, when you take that off, what you could do with that. Maybe it's just there just to be there for something else that they're coming out with the f in the future. But let's go ahead and talk about this bendy wire cape. This thing is freaking awesome. We got bendy wire in each slot as well. So you're going to get some great posing out of this, out of this, uh, posing wire cape. Which is freaking dope. But this thing is actually going to go over the figure. So I might have to take the mask off. Or the head off. And actually put this thing over with the hood. And then last but not least. We're going to take this piece here. We're going to stick it in the middle here. There's a hole. Uh, you'll be able to see it better when you actually get it. Get the figure. You'll see it. But that piece goes right through there. And then you just stick it right in the hole of here when you put the mask on. I mean, when you put the cape on. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. and do it off camera. Of course, I have no choice. So, this video won't be so long. Alright, so here we are with this dude almost fully dressed. We started off with him being stripped down with nothing on him to everything on him that could possibly fit on him. And that is his grenades, his ammunition for his guns and everything, his rocket launchers. Uh, we also got both of his side guns on there and his Tommy gun on the back here. We got everything on this dude, including the freaking awesome cape here with his mask on him, which I love a lot. I love this version of the mask. 
that he has on him. And then last but not least, we do have these goggles that I forgot to put on him. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on real quick. It could go over the mask as well, which I really do love that, that you can do that as well. So I'm hoping that, oh, can you do it like that? I don't know. I think they say you can. I will look over it and then we'll be right back. 